back to the channel and today I'm just piddling around, tinkering around and just having, you know, trying to get a few things done around here. So I've got this old trailer that I'm working on and it's, I've used this thing a ton behind the tractor to haul brush, do all kinds of stuff. Well, it's finally time, it's rotten away and I need to do some work on it to begin with. So I've always had to put a cement block under the front and use the draw bars on the tractor to lift it up and down and try to you know, get the pin in. So I'm sick of doing that. I want to be able to hook it up, do a truck, do whatever I need to with it, move it around with something besides a tractor. And I have to lift up the tongue to hook it up. So I got this 5,000 pound weld on jack from Amazon. And I think it was right around 50 bucks, but I've never put one of these on. So we're going to give it a try. I'm going to get this thing welded on and see how it works. Well, this is my old little wagon that I've been using. This was my great grandpa's and he used it for mostly a wood wagon. And I went ahead, I got the tongue cleaned up and this jack, and it's, uh, I believe it was a Reese, 5,000 yeah, 5, pound jack. And it seems to be pretty good quality so far. So it's the Pro Series 5,000 pound weld on. And this little coupling right here, a little piece of pipe, fits in like so. And I totally just put it in the wrong. It goes in like so. And then this pin slides in and locks it in place either down or it rotates and you can lock it up. So I've got one of these on my big trailer, which I really don't like it for that application because you get a tractor on there or something, it's, this thing just isn't big enough. But I figure for this, it ought to work pretty good. My issue is this thing is so short that, I mean, I could weld it on like so, but I'm gonna have some big gaps to fill and I don't believe it's gonna be really strong. So all I've got is a little piece of angle iron. It's, I think it's quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths. I don't know, but it's a pretty thick piece of angle iron that I'm gonna use as a bracket to weld it on instead of just welding it to the tube. So I think this will make it a little bit stronger. I can weld here, here, and on the top and the other side. And I think it'll do pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna put enough weight on this thing to ever break this off. So the one thing I did, notice is you have to get it the right direction so this end is a little bit shorter to the hole than this end so you got to make sure you weld it on like that and or you're going to have to be cut it off and do it again so i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing welded up i was getting this thing lined up and i was kind of having a hard time eyeballing it so i just stuck a file in there and i'm not going for perfection i could get a square out and try to figure all that out but really i just want it pretty straight so now that file gives me an indication or I can eyeball it quite a bit easier. So I think we're still just a touch off. And this didn't cut square either. I just put it in the bandsaw and let it go and didn't keep it slow and nice and steady where it cut good and square. I really didn't care. So, but I think it's pretty dang close right there. I said I wasn't gonna use the square. My OCD took over a little bit there. I think we're good. Well, it's definitely not my best welding job ever, but I just strive to, for it not to be my worst <laughs> every time. So I'm no expert welder by any means. Well, here's the real test. Yeah, it's probably still gonna burn that pan. Oh, we're good to go. Still works, still lines up. All right, well, I got clamped on and I'm just making sure I've got room to lift it and lower it. And Let's try to get it pretty straight. Right now, it definitely is not so straight. Hmm. Well, it's a little crooked as well. Apparently, I tacked it on a little too high. Well, I'm gonna work on this a little bit with two hands and get this thing. Well, that's not too bad. It's definitely cocked a little bit this way 
I guess when I weld attacked this one side, it raised up. I really wasn't paying attention, I guess. But it is what it is. So, oh well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing straight and get it tacked in place. That's the only bad thing about these is they are a little sloppy, but you know, it wasn't too bad to install and I didn't really want to rely on U-bolts uh, or clamps. I ran a couple of different welds and you know, filled in really good and tried to make the welds as strong as I could with, I mean, I'm no expert welder, but hey, I think it'll work. So I think we're good to go. And that's just one thing off the list for this little old trailer. And, you know, I thought this would be a good little quick video. Just, you know, I didn't really know pretty much how these work until I started doing it. So, you know, maybe this will help somebody out who needs to jack on their truck. Well, that's going to be it for this one. I hope somebody found something helpful. I don't know really much what I'm doing, but hey, maybe somebody can learn from something I did or learn from something I should have done. So appreciate everybody watching. Hope you'll subscribe. Check out my other videos and we'll see you next time.